Well, people are kind of upset about this, and I really don't know why. Superman 2025 to be the exact opposite of Man of Steel. Some people calling it more sci-fi than that of Man of Steel. <laughs> I honestly, I, I, I was reading this and then I saw the reactions on social media and I couldn't believe that people were upset about this or that they misunderstand it like they do. Because honestly, like, this isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. All right, so this is over at imdb.com. They kind of grabbed this and put it together. Uh, Superman, new report claims DCU reboot will be exact opposite of Man of Steel. A new report explained by James Gunn's highly anticipated DCU reboot of Superman will be far different than Man of Steel. The film will officially launch the new DCU franchise on the big screen and introduce a new iteration of Superman played by David Cornsweet. Production recently wrapped ahead of its release next year. Needless to say, a lot of fans have been anticipating the film and hoping that the new version will live up to expectations, especially after the divisive reception of the DCU EU iteration of the hero. That's an important key point here that they say. It says... A lot of fans have been anticipating the film and hoping that the new version will live up to expectations after the divisive reception of the DCEU iteration, meaning Man of Steel, meaning Henry Cavill's Superman. It was a divisive iteration. That's not a lie. People were divided on that iteration. They liked Henry Cavill in the role. They felt that he was capable of playing Superman. That's not to be debated. What is divisive is the way it was portrayed, the way it was put to screen. Look, I'm a big fan of Man of Steel. I loved Man of Steel. I loved the direction it was going. I liked it. But the larger audience, they felt that it wasn't going the way, the way that they wanted it to go. Anyways, moving on. James Gunn's Superman reportedly... James Gunn's Superman reportedly the exact opposite of Man of Steel. Now, this is coming from Daniel Richmond. According to him, he heard from sources that Gun Superman is fantastic and a complete shift to hardcore sci-fi and fantasy, the exact opposite of Man of Steel. Now, that's not to say that Man of Steel did not have sci-fi elements. I mean, take a look at the first 30 minutes of that movie. The first 30 minutes of that movie is straight science fiction on Krypton. That is straight sci-fi, and it is fantastic. That is a great beginning to that movie i love that film I, I i can't say it enough but that is science fiction you know all the the otherworldly feel of the the computers and the way everything works very science fiction i think daniel Rick, richmond and quite possibly whoever is talking to him and t giving him this information sort of went the wrong way about explaining this because and the reason why i say this is because the way that it should be put is not so much that it's hardcore sci-fi, but the fantasy. I think that is the, peop the, the, the aspect that people need to really pay attention to here, is the fantasy aspect. The way I look at it is, if you've read the very popular, very popular Kingdom Come comic run, graphic novel, whatever you want to call it, in DC. And it takes place in a DC world filled with superheroes. I mean filled with superheroes. To the brim, it's filled with superheroes. That's the fantasy aspect of it. That's the fantasy aspect where we're going to see a, a, a universe that is very different than, than we've ever seen for DC before. And even very different than that of Marvel. And that's kind of what they're getting at here, is, is we're seeing this universe that is very large in scale, very filled to the, to the brim with heroes. And that's exciting. That's different. It, isn't that what we want as fans? Isn't that what we want to see is something different than what we've seen in the past? The DCEU started off Man of Steel. Sure, Batman was around. Aquaman was hinted at, but there was no belief. If you remember the the movies, there was like, there's an Aquaman? No, like, that was like, 
is there? Is there not? Like, whoa, that's creepy. The Flash was hidden. He wasn't really around. Batman was like the only thing that was known. And even then, that was sort of a myth type of thing. Superman was a shock, culture shock to the world. So the idea of superheroes and, and, and you know, these cosmic beings and these metahumans were very new to that world in the DCEU. You take a look at Marvel. Even with Marvel, the idea of superheroes, while it was sort of there, you had your Captain America from the World War II era, your Captain Marvel from the 90s, but for the most part, it was very new with Iron Man, and that only started to build up at that point in time. This is going to be a world that's established with heroes in it. Already filled, filled with heroes. You see the fantasy aspect. The sci-fi aspect comes with that because it is science fiction based. It is going to be based with sci-fi, with Superman in space, and the the authority with all the 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 computers and you know Green Lanterns and the sci-fi and the I mean there's so much that you can do. You know I'm sure we'll see Brainiac at some point. That's going to be computerized and and science fiction. There's going to be sci-fi elements to it like we've not seen in DC before. And that's what they're getting with that, I think, with it. Sure, they're talking specifically about Superman. I think we got to kind of see the sci-fi, what they may be talking about the sci-fi aspect. I don't see it in the leaked photos that we saw. I don't see the sci-fi aspects. But I think this the, the specific point that we have to look at is the fantasy side. Because I don't see the sci-fi aspect yet. Because again, when you sit there and look at Man of Steel, the complete opposite is what we're getting. The fantasy side. That is completely opposite from Man of Steel. 100%. But the sci-fi. Very sci-fi Man of Steel. Wholeheartedly agrees. Man of Steel has a lot of sci-fi elements to it. I haven't seen it. In the Superman leaked photos. And what we've heard so far. Maybe we'll be shocked and surprised. That it's very sci-fi based. But that's the thing. We haven't seen it yet. Once we see it. That's when we'll be able to say oh okay yeah it is very sci-fi that's crazy who would have thought but let me know your thoughts i want to know what you guys think in the comments below hit that like button hit subscribe because i want to know what you think i want to know what you think about all this it's going to be interesting i can't wait for this move i still hate that image <laughs> i'm sorry it's too ai based but look at that that could be sci-fi what is that that's science fiction uh, f fictiony enough isn't it <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit subscribe for more, for more for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe so you get notifications, all that stuff. With all that said, I'll catch you all later.